What's going on everyone out there in YouTube land today? We're checking out two new all-in-one devices, both coming from Smoke. Today we're checking out the RPM80 and the RPM80 Pro. The only difference between the two is the regular one has an internal battery and the Pro uses a 18650 battery. Aside from that, one is a tad bit taller, but everything remains the same. So we'll compare them side by side really quick. But real quick, let's jump through the packaging presentation box. There you go. Slide it open, crack the lid, and we got authenticity checker. We got a battery safety card. We got the smoke giveaway where you can win cash prizes, mods. Who knows? Maybe even a house. I doubt it. User manual. And then down inside of here, we got the RPM 80. They're going to toss in two pods, two coil heads, and a micro USB charge cable. Here it is, folks. The mod I've been waiting for, the RPM80 Pro. Now the Pro's measuring in at 118, 31 millimeters wide, 26 millimeters thick, constructed of a zinc alloy. And the difference between the Pro and the standard, the Pro has the swappable 18650 battery and the standard has the internal battery. And also the Pro is maybe five millimeters or so taller than the standard. But aside from that, same power, uh, same finish, same button, same options, same coil heads. And we also have some new coil heads that we're gonna check out in a moment. Here at the top, we got your round drip tip. This one is not removable, but it does feel and look like a 510 drip tip. Also, the fill method is on the outside. We got your silicone fill tab. And what's nice about this, sometimes when you use a large bottle, the drip tip gets in the way. But what they did is they milled the hole on an angle. So when you fill it, you actually fill it on an angle. That way the drip tip will never get in the way. These pods are gonna hold up to five mLs of juice. The little plug right here is nice and tight. And we do have some adjustable airflow control, but only if you're using the RGC coil. What I mean by that? Well, this pod's held in with some really strong magnets, but when you remove it, oh, there we go. You can see we got two different pods we get inside the kit. This is the RGC pod, which will include the RGC conical mesh coil, which is a 0.17 rated 40 to 80 watts. And then you get the RPM pod, and they're including the RPM mesh coil 0.4 rated 25 watts. So you can use all your RPM coils in here and you can use all the RGC coils in here. You can use the RGC new RBA base that I don't have in this one, or you can use the RPM RBA in here. So a total of 13 different coil options and pretty much what you gotta do is just remove the coil you don't have to remove it. You could leave it in and fill it, but I'm gonna remove it to show you. The RGC coils are a lot larger and they offer more power handling and you got the adjustable airflow control ring. You cannot use the RPM coils in the RGC and vice versa. They have to match with the pod. Once you got your coil installed, go ahead and select your desired airflow. Go ahead and fill it up. If you're using a coil for the first time, make sure you let it sit for about 10 minutes. If you don't, chances are you're gonna burn up the coil. When you're ready to vape, simply drop it in, preferably the correct way, and there you go. Along the front, we got your firing switch. This one does not have auto draw. It is a manual draw, so it's going to be five clicks on and off. One, two, three, four, five. And then we have a beautiful, bright, 0.96-inch color display. The font isn't the largest, but at least the screen is nice and bright. We got your watch watches. We got your wattage, voltage, resistance, puff counter, and no temp control on here, just straight wattage mode. It goes all the way up to 80 watts with a maximum voltage of eight volts. And it will fire down to a 0 0.1 ohm coil. A few features, we got three clicks of the firing switch. We'll lock it, one, two, three. And then to unlock it, repeat that process. If you do the wattage down in the firing switch, that will clear your puff counter. If you do wattage up in the firing switch, you got a few different colored themes that you can choose from. And if you do wattage up and down together, that's gonna lock in the power. And then that's pretty much it for the menu. Pretty simple, or lack of the menu, since there really isn't one. Below that, we got your wattage up and down buttons. Nice, clicky, and responsive. Micro USB charge port. This one does offer two amp charging over USB. But since this is the pro version, we can actually go down here and we can open up the battery door and we could swap out the single 18650 battery 
positive side up with the gold plated contact. But if you go with the RPM 80 standard, this one has the 3000 internal milliamp hour battery, so you don't need to remove it. All you need to do is plug in that USB cable and it's gonna charge it. This one has a beautiful carbon black finish, which I really like. And the Pro has this nice multicolored artistic mumbo jumbo. And I will say these actually look really good when compared to some of the junk that comes out of China. But for the most part, that's it guys. The RPM 80 and the 80 Pro. Let's jump back up, let's have a vape. All right, so we got the RPMs here, the 80 Pro and Standard, and I will tell you now, grab a towel, I'm gonna gush over this one because I have been waiting for these devices. Big fan of the RPM 40. There were a few things about it, I just wish they changed, like the round drip tip, which we now have, the interchangeable battery, 18650, which we now have, and I wish it had a little bit more power, so if I wanted to do direct lung vaping, um, and get more clouds, I could do that. So now the RPM 80s offer up to 80 watts with the swappable battery. Now I got it set up for direct lung mode. I got the 0.17 at 70 watts, three milligrams, airflow wide open. And I will say these new RGC coils are fantastic for direct lung vaping. The flavor is out of this world. Here we go. And all that vapor that you get, man, these are some really good coils. I cannot wait to check out the RGC RBA section, which they did not send yet. Now, if you prefer something a little bit more kind of on the DL, a lot less vapor, a lot less power. Uh, of course, you can close off the airflow. You can make it a nice, super tight, restricted vape. Use a higher resistance coil head, lower wattage, and get a nice mouth-to-lung vape. I love the way they did the fill port. Um, you can fill it from the outside. It's milled on an angle. So when you take your bottle, you're not gonna fill it like this to where you hit the drip tip, you're actually gonna fill it like this, which I thought was pretty damn cool. Of course, we got your firing switch, your wattage buttons, they're nice, tight, very clicky and responsive. The screen is kind of plain Jane on here, but the wattage is big and it's bright. And since we don't have any features or menus or temp control, the only time I really look at the screen is when I set my wattage and that's pretty much it. Now, what was nice, that Smoke did, and I'm shocked they did this, they released both at the same time. Usually a company will release the internal battery version, make a few bucks, and then release the 18650, but this time around they decided to drop both at the same time, giving the buyer, you know, I prefer internal, I prefer to swap my batteries, so I thought that was kind of cool. Aside from that, man, this is probably my favorite all-in-one at the moment. Um, 13 different coil head options to choose from, which I think is the most out of any device on the market currently. And if you're heavily invested into the RPM coils, you could bring all those over and you can use them in here no problem. So I think this is an awesome device. Smoke did a great job. It may sound like I'm kissing ass, but I was really excited about this one and it really paid off. So yeah, that's it guys. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you hate the video, give it a thumbs down. I'll see you on the next one. Make sure you guys build safe and as always, Vape on.